Okay, it's been a little while since we've been in here checking on the worms. The last time I was in here, we fed them some watermelon and some banana peels. It's basically the same thing that I'm going to have for them this time. But I want to see what they've done to that food since the last time. I'm going to move this material over, this coarse material. Get it out of the way. I'm beginning to see some worms and some remnants of the food. This is the stems of bananas. That's not going to be eaten too quickly. I found that to be true watching other channels. And the banana peels are not really eaten that well. But as you can see, there's plenty of worms on them. But there, the watermelon, oh goodness, look at that. Quite a few worms on the banana peels. And there, I guess you could call that a worm ball. In any event, In the feeding zone, there are plenty, plenty of worms. This bin may be overpopulated. What do y'all think? But it don't appear to have been too overly moistened by the watermelon. There seems to be a lot more castings on this side than there were before. As you know, these were mostly leaves starting out. Piece of, what is that? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a quarter. I have no idea where that came from. A quarter. Badly damaged quarter. My goodness. Isn't that a mystery? I have no idea how that got in there. The only thing that I've introduced into here were uh, the banana peels and some uh, watermelon. Could that have somehow been in that? Very, very interesting. Well, I'm going to set this off to the side and take a closer look at that. Plenty of worms. And what I'm going to do is mix this up a little bit. I'll go ahead and add some more dry leaves. I'll try to crumble them up nicely. take some of the wet stuff, mix it with the dry. Put some of this back on the top. 
all this coarse material. And if you've been following, what I'm trying to do is draw the worms out of this side because I want to I want to take out some castings. I'm not going to do that today. I'll pack this down a little bit. And what I'm actually going to do is put more banana and watermelon. watermelon is frozen together and I only want to put one piece so there we go again of course there's food still in there um, from the last feeding Got some sand. I'm gonna get some dry cardboard pieces. All this rustling going on. I say dry cardboard pieces. Last time I, I mixed half and half. Okay. Before leaving, I still want to see if still got worms over on this side. And I don't want to disturb them too much. I think eventually I'll be able to harvest castings out of here. I'm going to leave that open so that it can dry. But I'm going to cover the feeding zone side. Because I want that to get moist for the worms. I don't want it to be too dry. But I don't think that could happen uh, having added that piece of watermelon. I think there's going to be plenty of moisture. Maybe, maybe not equally distributed in there but it'll be uh, where they could find it all right well that's it um, not really sure if my technique is used by anyone else to to uh, harvest castings I think it simulates the, the stacked method where you have the castings and then in another stack or another section of the stack you have new food and bedding I think it's simulating that but we're gonna see they seem to be happy they seem to be thriving it's a little cool near my floor so they may not be that active it's cold you know here in Louisiana now and uh, I may need to get them up off the floor especially before this weekend. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll do an update in about a week. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Well, I solved the quarter mystery. I don't know how good the lighting is here. But if you look at it carefully, this is what happens when you run a quarter through a shredder. I'm almost positive I did this by accident because I placed change on this counter near where I store the shredder. This quarter must have fell into the slot because I do remember having a heck of a time with it a while back. I couldn't figure out. I thought it was broke. Well, I almost broke it. But that is a good shredder. It's an Amazon product. 
I forget what they call it. Amazon Basics, I believe. Dang good shredder. Because it, it lived through this quarter episode. But that is the mystery of the quarter from the video.